Hey guys, Cleo here. It is a Monday evening. I have finished work. I've gone to the city center to get a few things. Basically, the few things that I needed to get, I didn't end up getting because I want like summer shoes, but I don't want sandals. I want kind of like espadrillas and I couldn't find any. And then I also went for like a bathing suit and I also didn't find any. So came back with a lot of stuff that I actually didn't need, but okay. <laughs> I did get some useful stuff as well in the mix there. But so yeah, we're starting another reading vlog and I think I want to change my reading vlogs and I want to make it like so that um, each vlog is kind of like two weeks time rather than just one week. I did it for the past two weeks and I actually kind of liked having more time to get content because because, you know, that way I could get kind of a few books in there rather than just like one, for example. And I could kind of, I don't know, spread out my uh, B-roll, for example, without feeling like I need to document every second of my life in order to have enough to fill these reading vlogs. I don't know, something about it really, uh, like I really liked it. The problem with this one is going to be that next week I'm on holiday. And so... It's going to be completely different tone and I don't even know whether I'm going to vlog or not. If I'm going to vlog, it's definitely just going to be B-roll potentially with me like talking over it um, because I'm with my family and I don't want to be vlogging in front of my family. But um, this one, it'll be this week, the week before holiday and perhaps the week after my holiday and then a separate one for my holiday. I don't know yet. We'll see what ends up happening as I get through it. But so, if you've seen my August TBR, then you know that I kind of intended to have my TBR finished before I go on holiday. So basically meaning that I have until Sunday to finish my TBR. And I have two books left on my TBR. I have The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scout Lynch, which is an issue because it is over 600, I think, pages long. And then I have Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson, which is um, under 400 pages. This is going to be in a separate vlog. This is going to be mainly what I'm going to be reading uh, these first few days of this week. But I also have an arc that actually I would be, I would need to finish. And I think that that is what I'm going to be reading first. So cutting it very short this week and I might have to take the lies of Locke Lamora with me to Portugal in the end. But so Shadows of Self, um, it will be in a different vlog and I might pop in here from time to time and give you my non-spoilery thoughts on Shadows of Self, but my full thoughts will be in a spoiler-filled vlog. Now, the arc that I have to read is called After the Dragons by Cynthia Zhang. And as what from what I remember, it's kind of a... Um, climate fiction fantasy story set in Beijing, China. That's all I fully remember about it. It is a novella, so it's only 160 pages long. So I'm going to be starting that one tonight, and then I'll give you some of my thoughts about it um, as I get a little bit further in and get a little bit better acquainted with what the actual story is. This hasn't been a great vlog week so far, but it's also been a very bad shoulder week, which always leads to those types of things, I guess, because where is there's a camera? <laughs> because I then just, you know, am like my mind is distracted, my mind is thinking of the pain, 
and of ways to get rid of the pain. So now I'm gonna go to the doctor after having tried for a week to get rid of this pain. And so I've used all types of like creams, cherry pit pillows. Um, I have used painkillers. I have like moved my arm. Like I've put my arm in sort of like sling for a while to get the weight of my arm off of the shoulder, which helps. All of those things help, but they all help momentarily. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the doctor and see if there's anything he can do like short term to help me out because I am leaving for Portugal um, on Monday. So like it needs to be quick, I guess. But um maybe if not he can give me like some good painkillers or whatever that i can use when it's like unbearable so that you know because like last night i really um hung up like i did the whole sling situation again because i just couldn't deal with it anymore you know i couldn't deal with the with the pain for a little bit so hopefully he will have something that he can do about it because, you know, part of the pain is the collarbone, so this protracting collarbone. Um, but, you know, when I had that checked by the radiologists, um, the conclusion was basically, can't really do anything about it. Maybe try some cream if it hurts, so <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> so, yeah, I tried the cream. It works momentarily indeed, but, you know, um, am I going to just be using tons of cream for it for weeks on end? I mean... So yeah, hopefully the doctor will lift my spirits a little bit because now I'm just like, ugh. I've had this pain for like a week now. It's, uh, I would like for it to diminish a little bit for a while at least. I have had some nice cracking of like my entire torso basically. <laughs> Neck, torso, um, shoulder, uh, pelvic area i guess so it's all been cracked manipulated whatever however you want to call that and um i am now waiting i mean tomorrow i'll be able to go and get a prescription for some sort of like muscle relaxants medication that will hopefully make it even better and then he told me like if i'm unsure i can still get it manipulated again on friday so that we can definitely get as much effect as possible and then on uh, Monday I'm leaving for Portugal but he also was also saying like yeah in Portugal it'll hopefully regardless be feeling better with um, your muscles because it's going to be a lot better climate for it but so ow I can't <laughs> but I can already feel that it is actually feeling a lot better at least the neck area definitely feels a lot looser so i still have the pain in like the collarbone but that's normal because that is not muscle related it's like calcification in the fluid around your collarbone and so basically the more mobile the collarbone actually the worse it is because then that collarbone um, those calcificated areas in there are constantly bumping into your other, um, basically your other bones and stuff like that. So that's basically causing extra uh, pain in that sense. So that pain I knew wasn't going to go away when it came to um, manipulating this area or anything like that. But so like the upper arm and like the lower arm from time to time and those things, that should all go away with the medication. So so yeah, feeling somewhat better. I mean, it, there's still some pain. I mean, there's still, but it's like my usual level of pain, you know? I don't even consider this pain, you know? <laughs> At this point, I'm like, oh yeah, it's fully fixed, even though I noticed that my, uh, my biceps is still complaining this is still complaining and um there are some other areas that are still complaining but it's so normal for me to have those pains that I do, I'm, I'm basically like yeah he solved it already but okay i'm very happy to have some muscle relaxants as well because that will be very nice to hopefully like get me to a nice fully relaxed stage so that i'm good to go for another like year and a half of building up more and more tension in these areas that are compensating for the shoulder but so yeah currently 
my main issue has been resolved and I don't need to resort to like using a sling anymore in order to you know the uh stress this area though that area definitely still feels quite tense but yeah it's a lot better in any case but so yeah that being said books let's talk about books so i have been reading after the dragons by cynthia chang um i think i gave you sort of like super basic premise before i started it did i update you guys on this book i'm so close to finishing it now i'm like 40 pages away from finishing it i am very happy with the book so far so it is a queer fantasy set in beijing china and i will definitely say that it is fantasy because it a big part of the plot concerns dragons but aside from that it's actually like very realistic it's an urban fantasy um, but I kind of feel like in terms of its tone, in terms of the way that the story unfurls, you could almost say that it's like magical realism. I just think that it has just a little bit too much fantasy elements to be able to call it magical realism. Um, with magical realism, I always feel like it's more like it's super focused on the realist aspect and then um, the sort of like magic like i kind of feel like you can forget that a magical realist book has magical elements for a big part of its page count until something magical happens again and you're like oh yeah right not everything is as it should be within this world whereas with this one this is very much a different type of beijing than the beijing that we used to but the story in and of itself very much focuses on these two characters and on the sort of like um illness of one of them but also stories about you know like um, difficulties of opening up to the people around you difficulties of accepting help and um, those things difficulties of um, coming out to family members um, both of these family members basically are keeping part of them selves from their family one of them has actually basically not really entered into contact with his family for a while because he is sick and he doesn't want to worry them he doesn't want them to have to carry the weight of that uh, neither because it is basically a terminal illness and so i've really been enjoying it so it's very much centering on all around all of these things that you could find very easily in a realist book but there are dragons <laughs> Hey guys <laughs> so i cut my hair i don't think i like it but okay it grows back because like why is this so bulky like mm, yeah i'm not a huge fan of my new haircut but okay um like i think four months and it'll be come on cat choose a side for months and it'll be but i guess yeah in a few months it'll be okay again and i'll be able to do something else with it like i wanted to try it short you know so don't get me wrong even though i'm like a little bit unhappy with the way it's looking now because it didn't end up the way it could have like in an ideal world ended up yeah i knew there was this risk of course i've never gone this short so i knew that there was a possibility that i wasn't gonna like the way that it looks short so um you know you take that you take the risk you also have to take the punishment from time to time but so i mean it isn't like it is completely ugly i guess but so uh, in a few months it'll be back to a more decent length i guess but so yeah um I don't think I've updated this particular vlog in a while, so I have been reading Shadows of Self. I'm not advancing as quickly in it as I would have liked to, so I think my problem here is the same that's happened with Alloy of Law. In the beginning, I just struggled to get through it because, you know, with these types of stories, you know, they're all centered around a big case and you're kind of given, like, building blocks for the case, so to speak. And um, I don't really care all that much for the story. And I don't know, something about that just means that for me, it goes super slowly and only once we're really like in the action of, uh, you know, resolving it or something like that. 
does it get more interesting in that sense to me or that's kind of like i don't have enough experience with that because i don't really like reading um detective style stories to know what exactly about it i don't like but so i'm once again slogging through it to some extent there are definitely interesting passages don't get me wrong but so yeah, it isn't like the super quick and fast read that I thought it was going to be when I originally was like, oh, there are only like 300 plus pages, so I'll fly through those. No, that's not the case. That's not what's happening. Um, but I would like to finish it before I leave for Portugal, because otherwise it's just another book that I need to bring to Portugal, probably for just like a very limited amount of pages that I still need to read in it. So, I mean, am I going to then invest in the ebook just to not have to log it with me? So... Those are kind of my uh, concerns at this point, but I do need to film and edit quite a bit uh, before I can dive into this. So that's a problem. I need to film two more videos and I need to edit a ton of videos. <laughs> now, some of them aren't as essential. I do return on the 31st of July. And so if I don't have the videos for like the um, 1st of August and for I return on the 31st of August. If I don't have the videos for like the 1st of September and the um, 3rd and I guess of September, then that is fine. But I would ideally have them so that I don't immediately when I return from holiday need to dive back into editing. Um, but so we'll have to see because I do also want to have some time for reading. I need to go into the city center as well, as well at some point to return one of my um, orders because I have ordered a bathing suit that didn't fit so I reordered another one in another size and so I need to return the original one now so yeah I mean I do still have quite a lot to do it. and of course I need to pack for my holiday so that's kind of bothersome at this point in time but um, you know it's I'm starting to think that I'm not going to be able to finish it and I don't like that I need to finish it I never think, I never know I'm stuck and left alone I've been lost, I've been fine My cause is not defined Will you kiss me? Will you play? Will you drown me? Alright, now it's just really <laughs> gonna so much worse. What is this? But okay, I went to city center. I have searched forever for a print shop that was open, but I finally found one. So I printed some of my Portugal documents, including, well, not including, it's not a Portugal document, but I also printed Becca's Bacopolis on board. So I will be filming my TBR for September later today. So that's why I needed it. And then I also got a puzzle, new, beautiful, bookshop puzzle so that is for later and then i also got something that i'll show you in my portugal vlog and then i got some bubble tea that i'm going to be enjoying now because i'm going to be editing beast mode now i hope because i need to <laughs> 